Hey everybody, it's Stan Smith from Iron Sharp K9, and today we are working with an older Aussie mix, and we're trying to build his confidence. So we're gonna walk him through getting over the fear of these stairs. Oh, Charlie, come. It's not real. So, what's wrong? Let me do this. Come on, come on. Yes, come on, come on. Come on, come on. The way you handle your leash in this situation is going to be important. You can't put too much pressure to cause him to fight, but you can't let him just sit there and do nothing. So, you want to encourage him and let him know that, hey, you're not going to get out of this, but I'm not going to force you to do it either. So, we're just going to kind of have a stalemate. And as soon as he comes, the pressure's off. So what we're doing here is we're trying to bait him to get on the stage and his owner had these treats and they were like hard, I think they were like pup tarts or something. He wasn't cutting it. So I pull out the meaty treats. You got to make sure you're giving your dog a high value reward, something that they want to work for. And when he did get that high value reward, he was like, ooh, I like this little meat treat. So in these instances, you want the dog to understand that they can get out of it when they want to. So you relieve the pressure by telling them free, and then you're letting them go out. Again, a little more lively. So we'll do it a couple more times. So if a dog starts acting like this, this is an approach that I use. And if anybody's ever seen Family Guy, there was a trail and it was like, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. This technique, it takes the dog's mind out of actually what's going on and realizing each step that they take, they're getting a reward. They're not thinking about what they were afraid of, they're thinking about that reward. And this is what you want your dog to be doing whenever you're going through situations. Trusting your judgment and knowing that they're going to get something out of overcoming their fears. too much stress on him because then he's going to have a bad experience with it. Right. So short sessions with him doing stuff and then he gets to the point where now he's more comfortable and he wants to do it on his own because he's like, okay, it's a little scary. He walked me through it mm -hmm. and then he released my, my stress. Did I leave anything? You did good. Why are you doing And that's what you want him to see. It's not going to be like a big, oh my god, he's super confident now. It's going to be small things. Well, that's huge. By himself. Just yep. going up like that. Because, what, two minutes before that, he was mm -hmm. trying to fight away from it. Yeah, and I don't know if you remember, like, two, two weeks ago, we had him up there. You know, he would walk around. He wasn't happy about it. But now he's gotten to where he just didn't want to get it at all. The older dogs are a little bit more... Um, Cautious, let's just say. Yeah. They've, they've been around the block once or twice like a puppy, they don't care. Yeah. Puppies are crash dummies for a lot of their life until they learn not to be. They're just a little older, it's just going to take a little bit of time. But, like you saw the process, if he ever gets into something like that, you can't force him because it's going to cause him to 
freak out a little bit. Right. Just kind of treats on the ground, let them kind of figure it out because we don't want to be restraining them, like forcing them to do stuff because we're not training at that point. Right. We want to build that dog's confidence so they can be independent and do things on their own. You don't want them to be super codependent on you that they can't function without you around. Yeah. That's good.